and Lauren, I can hear some music there. You know, I wish I was really good at like salsa dancing, but I'm not. So I'm going to leave that to the professionals. But you guys, downtown Houston at the Houston Public Library is a place to be, not just for books, but their exhibits. And this one right here, Musica, a history of Hispanic sounds in Houston. And if you were unaware, Houston has some of the biggest names in Tejano music and Hispanic music. And the culture is so amazing. So I'm going to walk right on over here. Uh, we're going to talk to Mika Selly. She is a Hispanic collections and oral history archivist so you know all the information about the sights and sounds of the Latina music history right here in Houston. Yes we have a wonderful exhibit, uh, Musica, and uh, you'll notice as we walk around it's organized by genre and the idea is to showcase the contributions that we've had in every decade and every single style of music. So take a quick look around how it's set up. It's really neat. Every block has its own genre and I honestly did not know there were so many different genres in this category. But I did, I walked right up to this exhibit because it just took me by storm. I want to walk over here. Her name is Lydia Mendoza and this is an actual RCA record company contract from 1939. It had to be rewritten for a female. And check this out, the sum of $20. Just to grasp how much you make on a record contract today, it's millions of dollars. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in 1939, $20 was uh, comparable to and millions of dollars. And that was for one year and 30 recordings. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. That's, yeah. that's crazy to me. Yeah. So I want to walk to this guitar and the trumpet we have because it's got a really cool story along with it. Yes. Uh, so this, these instruments represent uh, several generations of the Centeno family here in Houston. Uh, the guitar belonged to Norma Centeno, um, who passed away. And uh, the family was kind enough to, to loan these items to, to share their family history and their contributions. Um, and one of the stories shared with us was that the guitar still smells like her perfume. Oh, wow. Yeah. How did you guys get some of these items for this exhibit? Yeah, so uh, many of the items are housed in the archive. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's what we do. We preserve and promote this history. Um, but uh, about a year ago, I put out a call for volunteers to help organize the exhibit and the Centeno family, the Diaz family, Torres, a lot of these families came together and um, wanted to share this. this is do, you play, do you play any instrument? I do not. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll learn together. Yes. <laughs> I kind of want to walk over to show y'all also, once you walk up to one of the blocks with the exhibit, you can stand right under here. It's a little bit low for my microphone to pick up, but you can hear the music specific to the bands and the genre that's playing on this exhibit wall right here, which I think is awesome because I wouldn't have known even by the side of the wall the genre, what it sounds like, unless you give it a listen. Yes, absolutely. So. We wanted to have this be uh, as interactive and, and, and have different aspects to the exhibit so that uh, when children come in here, they learn and everybody learns. Um, so you're not only reading and, and looking at the photographs, but you're listening to the music. So tell us a little bit about the events that are going to be along with this exhibit. Yes, so we have a bus tour. So uh, it isn't just about the musicians um, or the bands, but it's about the venues that they played at okay. as well. So we're going to have a bus tour. We've partnered with Mr. McKinney's Historic Houston, and we'll oh. be driving around to the different venues that played a significant role in our history here. He's a great friend of Houston life. Mr. McKinney yes. gives a great <laughs> tour, so we look forward to that. And if you guys want details, this exhibit is free. It's yes. Tuesdays through Thursdays here now through November the 9th, right here at the Houston Public Library downtown. Uh, more info at HoustonLife.tv. Nika, thank you so much thank for all the so information. Much. I'm going to go check out some of these sights and sounds of the Hispanic community. I love it. Thank, thank you. you. Derek and Courtney? Very nice come out here. Line. Yeah, Thank very you. cool. We will stop by. Yeah. A reminder, by the way, that KPRC Channel 2 has been celebrating the diversity of our city during Hispanic Heritage Month and is featuring profiles of some of Houston's most prolific Hispanic artists and muralists. If you would like to see them, you can visit clicktohouston.com slash Hispanic Heritage Month. We'll be right back.